What is Terraform? Terraform is an open source infrastructure as a code software tool created by HasiCorp. It's a tool for building, changing, and versioning infrastructure safely and efficiently. Terraform can manage existing and popular service providers as well as custom in-house solutions. The infrastructure Terraform can manage includes low-level components such as compute instances, storage, and networking, as well as high-level components such as DNS entries, SaaS features, etc. What are the key features of Terraform? Infrastructure as code, this feature used to infrastructure is described using a high-level configuration syntax. This allows a blueprint of your data center to be versioned and treated as you would any other code. Additionally, infrastructure can be shared and reused. Execution plans, high-level configuration syntax is used to describe the infrastructure. This shows the blueprint of the data center that needs to be versioned. In addition, infrastructure can be reused and shared. Graphing Terraform build infrastructure efficiently by creating the graph of all the resources and identify the non-dependent resources to modify them. Change automation Complex change sets can be applied to your infrastructure with minimal human interaction. With the previously mentioned execution plan and resource graph. What are the characteristics of Terraform architecture? The following characteristics of Terraform architecture. Backend. Command line interface, CLI. Configuration loader. Expression evaluation. Graph builder. Graph walk. State manager. Subgraphs. Vertex evaluation. Can you explain Terraform AWS and its features? Terraform is an infrastructure as code tool. It is like AWS cloud formation which allows you to create, update, and version your Amazon Web Services infrastructure. It is a tool that allows you to build, change, and version the infrastructure safely and efficiently. It is used to manage existing and popular service providers. It can also manage custom in-house solutions. Some of the major features of Terraform are Friendly custom syntax but also has support for JASO. Visibility into changes before they actually happen. Built-in graphing feature to visualize the infrastructure. Understands resource relationships. One example is failures are isolated to dependent resources while non-dependent resources still get created, updated, or destroyed. Open source project with a community of thousands of contributors who add features and updates. It has the ability to break down the configuration into smaller chunks for better organization, reuse, and maintainability. What is use of Terraform CLI? CLI in Terraform is a well-mannered command line application. This application then takes a subcommand such as apply or plan. The complete list of subcommands is in the navigation to the left. To get help for any particular command, pass the H flag to the relevant subcommand. List out the sum of Terraform commands. Common commands. Apply builds or changes infrastructure. Console, interactive console for Terraform interpolations. Destroy, destroy Terraform managed infrastructure. Tun, workspace management. FNT, rewrites config files to canonical format. Get, download and install modules for the configuration. Graph, create a visual graph of Terraform resources. Import, import existing infrastructure into Terraform. INIT initialize a Terraform working directory. Output read an output from a state file. Plan generate and show an execution plan. Providers prints a tree of the providers used in the configuration. Refresh update local state file against real resources. Show inspect Terraform state or plan. Taint manually mark a resource for recreation. Untaint manually unmark a resource as tainted. Validate validates the Terraform files. Version prints the Terraform version. 
Workspace, Workspace Management. Can you define modules in Terraform? A module in Terraform is a jug for numerous resources that are used jointly. Modules are collections of .tf files containing resources, input variables, and outputs, which exist outside the root folder of your configuration. The root module is required for every Terraform that includes resources mentioned in the .tf file. Can you explain Terraform Cloud and its features? Terraform Cloud is an application that helps teams use Terraform together. It manages Terraform runs in a consistent and reliable environment and includes easy access to shared state and secret data, access controls for approving changes to infrastructure, a private registry for sharing Terraform modules, detailed policy controls for governing the contents of Terraform configurations, and more. Features of the Terraform Cloud are Audit Logging SAM Single Sign-On Can you define Terraform Provider and list Terraform Providers? Terraform is used to manage and inform infrastructure resources such as bodily machines, VMs, network switches, containers, and more. A provider is responsible for understanding API interactions and exposing resources. Some Terraform providers are IAS services examples are Alibaba Cloud, AWS, GCP, Microsoft Azure, OpenStack. PaaS services examples are Heroku. SaaS services examples are Terraform Cloud, Cloudflare, DNSimple. What does the provider's command do? The Terraform provider's command prints information about the providers used in the current configuration. Syntax Terraform Providers Config Path Can you explain Terraform state? Terraform state is a command that is used for advanced state management. The state is a necessary requirement for Terraform to function. Terraform must store state about your managed infrastructure and configuration. This state is used by Terraform to map real-world resources to your configuration, keep track of metadata, and to improve performance for large infrastructures. This state is stored by default in a local file named terraform.tf state, but it can also be stored remotely, which works better in a team environment. Syntax Terraform state options args. Can you explain Terraform INIT? The Terraform INIT command is used to initialize a working directory containing Terraform configuration files. This is the first command that should be run after writing a new Terraform configuration or cloning an existing one from version control. It is safe to run this command multiple times. Syntax Terraform INIT options DIR Can you explain Terragrint? Terragrint is a thin wrapper that provides extra tools for keeping your configurations dry, working with multiple Terraform modules, and managing remote state. You can also execute Terraform commands on multiple modules at once using Terragrint. How do you identify the installed version of Terraform? To check the current installed version of Terraform, use the below command. Syntax Terraform version help args. What is the use of Terraform FMT command? The Terraform FMT command is used to rewrite Terraform configuration files to a canonical format and style. This command applies a subset of the Terraform language style conventions, along with other minor adjustments for readability. Syntax Terraform FMT options DIR If the directory argument is not passed, then the command scans the current directory for the configuration files. The list of flags available to this command is list, write, diff, check, recursive. What are some of the built-in provisioners available in Terraform? Here is a list of some Terraform's built-in provisioners. File provisioner Remote Executive Provisioner Salt Masterless Provisioner Puppet Provisioner Chef Provisioner Local Executive Provisioner Habitat Provisioner Why provisioners are used in Terraform? 
Provisioners can be used to model specific actions on the local machine or on a remote machine in order to prepare servers or other infrastructure objects for service. Can you explain some of the provisioners available in Terraform? Generic provisioners File provisioner The file provisioner is used to copy files or directories from the machine executing Terraform to the newly created resource. The file provisioner supports both SSH and Venom type connections. Local executive provisioner The local executive provisioner invokes a local executable after a resource is created. This invokes a process on the machine running Terraform, not on the resource. See the remote executive provisioner to run commands on the resource. Remote executive provisioner The remote executive provisioner invokes a script on a remote resource after it is created. This can be used to run a configuration management tool, bootstrap into a cluster, etc. To invoke a local process, see the local executive provisioner instead. The remote executive provisioner supports both SSH and Venom type connections. Vendor provisioners Chef Provisioner The Chef Provisioner installs, configures and runs the Chef Client on a remote resource. The Chef Provisioner supports both SSH and Venom type connections. Habitat Provisioner The Habitat Provisioner installs the Habitat Supervisor and loads configured services. This Provisioner only supports Linux targets using the SSH connection type at this time. Puppet Provisioner The Puppet Provisioner installs configures and runs the Puppet agent on a remote resource. The Puppet Provisioner supports both SSH and Venom type connections. Salt Masterless Provisioner The Salt Masterless Terraform Provisioner provisions machines built by Terraform using salt states without connecting to a salt master. The Salt Masterless Provisioner supports SSH connections. Can you explain Terraform backend and its benefits? A backend in terraforming is used to determine how the state is loaded and how an operation is executed. By default, Terraform uses local backend. An important thing to know is that backend in Terraform is optional. Terraform can be used without learning or using the backend, but backend has some benefits such as using it to store sensitive information of the disk executing remote operations and storing the state remotely and preventing it from corruption. Here are some of the benefits of backends. Working in a team, backends can store their state remotely and protect that state with locks to prevent corruption. Some backends such as Terraform Cloud even automatically store a history of all state revisions. Keeping sensitive information of disk State is retrieved from backends on demand and only stored in memory. If you are using a backend such as Amazon S3, the only location the state ever is persisted is in S3. Remote operations for larger infrastructures or certain changes, Terraform apply can take a long, long time. Some backends support remote operations which enable the operation to execute remotely. What command can be used to switch between workspaces when using Terraform Cloud? The Terraform Workspace Select Workspace Name command is used to choose a different workspace. Can you explain null resource in Terraform? The null underscore resource resource implements the standard resource lifecycle but takes no further action. The triggers argument allows specifying an arbitrary set of values that, when changed, will cause the resource to be replaced. How can you import existing resources under Terraform management? By using the Terraform import command for import existing resources under Terraform management. Can you explain resource graph in Terraform? Terraform builds a graph of all the resources and parallelizes the creation and modification of any non-dependent resources. Because of this, Terraform builds infrastructure as efficiently as possible and operators get insight into dependencies in their infrastructure. Can you explain Terraform plugins? Terraform plugins are executable binaries written in Go programming language. Plugins are basically the providers and provisioners in Terraform configurations. Terraform has various inbuilt provisioner plugins 
and users have to discover provider plugins dynamically according to their requirements. The Terraform plugins help in domain-specific implementation of the service they represent.